In this chapter, we'll begin configuring the G Suite directory sync within your JumpCloud organization. To configure the JumpCloud G Suite directory sync, go ahead and log into your JumpCloud administrator account and navigate to the directories menu on the left hand side. In the directories pane, you'll want to hit the green plus button in the top left and select G Suite. A slide out pane will appear from the right hand side, allowing you to begin configuring the G Suite directory sync. Click the Authorize G Suite Sync button in the right hand pane to begin. This will open a new tab within your browser, navigating you to the G Suite login. Here you'll want to use your G Suite tenant super admin account and password. You'll then receive a statement that JumpCloud is requesting permission to access G Suite. Go ahead and hit the Allow button at the bottom. This will navigate you to the JumpCloud G Suite directory sync page, which lists all of your current users within your G Suite tenant. This new browser tab will appear at any time you first configure the directory sync, as well as during reactivation of the directory sync. That's it. You've just configured the JumpCloud G Suite directory sync within JumpCloud. Please continue to the next chapter, which covers importing users from G Suite into JumpCloud. In this chapter, we'll begin importing users from G Suite into JumpCloud using your freshly configured G Suite directory sync. To begin importing users from G Suite into JumpCloud, you'll need to have completed the authorization of G Suite sync in the previous tutorial chapter. Log into your JumpCloud administrator account and navigate to the directories menu on the left hand side. Select the G Suite directory sync from the right hand side. To begin importing G Suite users into JumpCloud, click on the Import G Suite Users button. A new tab will appear listing all of your current users in your company's G Suite tenant. Check the checkboxes next to the names of the users that you'd like to import. You can choose to import singular or multiple users at once. In our example, I will import a singular user, Bob Fay, by checking the checkbox next to his name. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and hit the Import Users button on the bottom right. You'll then see a pop-up showing the importation of the users that has been successful. Click on the Close button in the pop-up to be brought back to the directories listing in your JumpCloud admin portal. Taking a look at the G Suite directory options at the bottom, you can also set selected attributes to automatically sync to G Suite from JumpCloud such as employee work or personal information. Navigate to the Users menu on the left-hand side. You should now see your newly imported users in the user list within JumpCloud in an orange pending activation state. There are three states within JumpCloud. Green, meaning that the account is fully active and a secure password has been set. Orange, meaning that the password has not been activated and we're waiting on the activation to complete. Red, meaning that the account is either locked out or the password has been expired. Let's take a look at the Bob Fay user account I just imported into JumpCloud. With the G Suite directory sync, we import three fields from the account, first name, last name, and email address. The username and display name are created during the G Suite directory sync and import of the user account. The display name is a concatenation of first and last names, and the username is pulled from the prefix of the email address. Ensure that the JumpCloud username is using the nomenclature that you'd like to use within your company. This will come into play when you are binding users to systems covered in another tutorial module. To begin the activation process for this user account imported from G Suite, we'll want to go to the Directories tab within the User Configuration pane and check the checkbox next to the G Suite directory sync. This will send a welcome email to the user's G Suite email account asking for a password reset, thus activating their account. We'll cover what this looks like from a user's perspective in the next chapter. In this chapter, we'll take a look through the eyes of our newly imported user, Bob Fay, and go through the activation steps. Logging into Bob's G Suite account and accessing his Gmail, we can see that there is a welcome email that has arrived from JumpCloud. Opening this email, Bob is greeted by JumpCloud and notified that his G Suite admin has configured him a JumpCloud account and this requires a password reset. In order for him to get started, he must hit the Get Started button below. Additionally, towards the bottom of the email, there's more information on JumpCloud and how the JumpCloud G Suite sync works. Clicking on the Get Started button will open up a new tab to console.jumpcloud.com, asking him for the password reset. They must set a password that meets the complexity you've set in the JumpCloud organization. If they do not, they'll be prompted to create a better password meeting the requirements that you've set on the JumpCloud org. Once a secure password has been set, the password activates the JumpCloud account, is pushed down to his G Suite account, as well as navigating him to the JumpCloud user login page where he can log into JumpCloud to access any of the SSO applications he may have access to, or to reset his JumpCloud password. Taking a look back at his Gmail tab, we can see that Bob's been logged out due to the password change, and now he can log into his G Suite account and apps using his new JumpCloud password he just set. That's it. Bob's account is now fully active and has changed from an orange pending activation state to a fully green active account within JumpCloud. In our next chapter, we'll cover how to create user accounts within JumpCloud and have the new user be provisioned within G Suite via the JumpCloud G Suite directory sync. In this chapter, we'll cover how to create a new JumpCloud user and then provision it within our connected G Suite tenant leveraging the G Suite directory sync. To get started, 
Ensure you're logged into your JumpCloud Administrator account and navigate to the Users menu on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and create a new user, Victor Fay. To create a new user, hit the green plus button in the top left. A new user configuration pane will slide out from the right-hand side. Go ahead and configure the user's information in the Details tab. Now that we've filled out the desired user's details, we then want to navigate to the Directories tab and then check the G Suite Directory Sync checkbox and hit Save. Another method for adding this new user to G Suite is to add the user to a user group which is bound to G Suite. This way, any user bound to said user group will be syncing with G Suite through the Directory Sync. Within 60 seconds, this new JumpCloud user will also be provisioned as a new unlicensed account within G Suite. You may now assign a license to this user within G Suite. You may also set a first-time password for the user within their JumpCloud account so they can now access their new G Suite and JumpCloud accounts. That's it. Thanks again for watching this tutorial over JumpCloud's G Suite Directory Sync.